this is the last video in the series on the plays from the unicorn. This one, uh, like I said last week, is a little different just in that it breaks the pattern, although the motion should feel very familiar, so let me read it to you and then we'll talk about it. When you have thus executed a winging upward to both sides and have come up to the unicorn, if your opponent cuts from his right against your left at your head, then step well out from his stroke again with your right foot toward his left and fall on him, yet such that your hands remain crosswise with your short edge on top of his forte. This falling on and stepping out shall be executed simultaneously against his incoming blade. And when the swords clash together in this manner, at once let the short edge snap around away from his sword again and strike with it at his head, palm away from him. Or, with this falling on, break through downward towards your left and pull your half back up around your head, cut after with a long edge with a step outward, etc. So what I mean by breaking the pattern that we've been working on, for all of these, we've ended on this double winging cut and then we've stepped out to counter cut. That's been the pattern we've seen in the last three plays. For this one, we're not gonna do a counter cut. From this double winging, we're gonna step out and fall down directly with our short edge. So we're essentially stuffing their attack. Um, so once we've done that, if we have, uh, if we're in here tight, we're just gonna snap around again with the false edge. To my mind, what separates the two options that Meyer gives us is really kind of range and angle. So if I've stuffed this attack and my opponent is fairly close, I'm just going to turn my hip, maybe refuse the back foot a little bit, and throw this false edge cut. If I end up with a little bit more room, that's when I'm going to step out and attack with the long edge. So the mental shorthand for this one is double winging cut, fall and back edge, or double winging cut, fall and long edge. And like I said, to my mind, the, the separation between those two options really is range. So if I'm practicing this on my pel, I come in here, I step out and fall, and I have the room, and the, I have the right radio, I can throw the false edge cut. If I find myself a little further out, where it's going to be harder to reach with my back edge, that might be when I turn it into the lead edge cut, because that's going to let me reach out for a little, little bit. So practice both options and play with the range. Depending on the angle that you step out and how close you are to your pel, one should feel more applicable pretty pretty clearly to the other. So practice both of them. The reason I like this play so much is I think in a lot of ways it's it's the most applicable and authentic. In that if I have done this upward cut and my opponent has stepped out or if I've messed up the range and I've airballed and they're coming in to hit the gap, I might not have time to pull around my head and throw this counter cut. So this is a very good oh shit response where we step out and we just stuff it. So uh, I guarantee I've used this in sparring. I imagine many of you who have been sparring for a while have used some version of this. We all had those oh shit blocks. I feel like this is a, a very, very realistic one. Messed up the range, oh shit, back edge. Or I've messed up the range, oh shit, and pull around for that long edge attack. So uh, it's a little different just because we're not meeting their cut with this counter cut. We're meeting it with this crossed armed falling, uh, falling upon stuffing it but I think it's a good oh shit response to practice. I feel like this is one that might find its way into your sparring pretty quickly. So play with this one. Uh, Meyer ends on a little bit of advice for Unicorn. He just says that from here, we should be able to throw these undercuts or the thwart and then any other device he talks about. But he, he calls out the, the undercuts and the, the thwart specifically. So play with that technique as well. That might be a good final kind of thing to think about is if I've thrown this undercut and they're ranging out. Maybe I do want to come around with the thwart to cover myself against a potential incoming attack. So play with that. But the play itself is just the cross arm falling down, back edge, a long edge attack. So go ahead and play with uh, Meyer's oh shit block from Unicorn and we'll do something else next week.